Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, where I talk about vampires, werewolves, and other supernatural creatures. I want to talk about the movie I Am Legend, or more specifically, a popular theory or argument surrounding it. If you enjoy the video, leave a like, and maybe hit that subscribe button, I really appreciate it. I Am Legend is a post-apocalyptic horror film released in 2007, starring Will Smith as the lead character Robert Neville. The movie is based on the 1954 novel of the same name by Richard Matheson. It follows Neville as he struggles to survive in a world overrun by a virus that has turned most of humanity into nocturnal creatures to hunt the remaining survivors. The movie was a commercial success, earning over $585 million at the box office against a budget of $150 million. It received mixed reviews from critics with some praising Will Smith's performance and visual effects, while others criticized the plot and deviation from the source material. A lot of people had a problem with the ending which they ended up releasing an alternate ending. The film was directed by Francis Lawrence, who would go on to direct the Hunger Games movie series, and also directed one of my favorite movies of all time, Constantine. He will also be directing Constantine too. There was also some previous adaptations of the film, The Last Man on Earth in 1964, and The Omega Man in 1971. Over time, a theory about this movie has gained traction. Could these creatures be vampires? This theory is based on their similarities to traditional vampires, so let's see if they really could be. GA series results appear typical. Vampires in media are often depicted as human-like with pale skin and elongated fangs. The creatures in I Am Legend are more animalistic and grotesque, with leathery skin, elongated limbs, and distorted features. But vampires have taken many forms over the years. The vampires in the book I Am Legend look identical to humans like typical vampires. In the book, the creatures are definitely more akin to vampires than their counterparts depicted in the movie. Neville even refers to them in the book as vampires. He kills them with a stake and uses garlic and crosses to keep them away. The creatures in the movie and book are essentially the same thing. However, most people consider I Am Legend a zombie movie. In the novel, the virus comes about naturally, being carried by dust storms and mosquitoes after some bombs were dropped. In the movie, the creatures are the result of a pandemic called the Crippen virus, which was manufactured to be a cure for cancer, but it backfired. The novel virus has some different effects depending on whether the host is alive or dead. If the host is dead, the infected behave more closely to the movie infected, violent and feral, attacking anything on sight. In the book, they would even attack each other if hungry enough. But not all the contracted virus are dead. Some are still alive. These more closely resemble vampires because they were still intelligent and could communicate with humans, as well as having enhanced strength, agility, the ability to heal, and a degree of immortality. The creatures from the movie are kind of a combination of the living and dead infected from the book. They're mostly feral, but still with some communication and intelligence, and definitely alive, as they have a heartbeat. Core temperature 106 Fahrenheit, pulse 200 BPM. Although vampires are usually associated with being dead or undead, this isn't the case with all vampires, so being alive doesn't disqualify them from being a vampire. The creatures in the movie are usually referred to as dark seekers. Neville learns by studying the creature its adrenal glands are always open, flooding them with adrenaline, which gives them increased mobility. Their increased metabolism also speeds up their heart rate, breathing speed, and body temperature and makes them constantly hyperventilate. Other symptoms of the Crippen virus or KV include dilated pupils, inflamed gums, hair loss, and albinism. Despite their superhuman physical abilities, the vampiric creatures in I Am Legend are not immortal. They are still subject to the ravages of time and will eventually succumb to old age. However, they do possess a form of agelessness, as their transformation has arrested their aging process and they do not show the physical signs of aging that humans do. Obviously, the common argument is that these infected are zombies. Zombies are typically portrayed as mindless, flesh-eating creatures with little or no intelligence usually caused by some kind of biological outbreak. They are often slow and clumsy and are driven by an insatiable hunger for human flesh. Some zombies may also have heightened physical abilities, but they are generally not depicted as being as intelligent or agile as vampires. Vampires are usually shown as being highly intelligent and cunning, with the ability to think and plan strategically. They also usually have superhuman strength and speed that far surpasses humans. 
I think this description better fits the infected from I Am Legend than zombies. They are extremely strong, fast, and agile, able to climb up buildings. They have super senses, and although the infected in the movie are less intelligent than their novel counterparts, they still show much more intelligence than a zombie, having relationships, planning attacks, and even being able to copy complex traps that Neville sets up. While the specifics of what makes a vampire can vary depending on the source, there are some common characteristics that are associated with the creatures. One of the most well-known traits of vampires is their need for blood. They must feed on the blood of humans or animals to maintain their vitality. To me, a big difference is whether or not they eat flesh or drink blood. I've never heard of a zombie that drinks blood. In the movies, we don't see them eat any people because there's none left in the city, so they must survive on plants and or animals. Or they possibly cannibalize each other, like in the novel. It never shows or explains, but we could assume they are similar to their book counterparts because it doesn't tell us any different. Vampires are also often depicted as being immortal, or at least ageless. Check. Another common trait of vampires is their supernatural abilities. These may include superhuman strength, speed, agility, and heightened senses. Check. Some vampires have supernatural or magic-like abilities like shape-shifting or compelling people, but even the vampires from the original I Am Legend book are more biological than supernatural, similar to Underworld. Vampires are associated with certain weaknesses, such as being vulnerable to sunlight or holy objects, or the need to sleep in a coffin or other specialized resting place. While they are not weak to holy objects in the movie, and they don't sleep in a coffin, they do seem to have a kind of den or preferred resting place. And they are of course burned by sunlight. Check. We don't see them drink blood like they do in the book. Actually, we don't see what they feed on at all. But they are still aggressive toward humans and some even seem to have sharp teeth. It looks like they try to bite Neville multiple times but always get stopped. So they might feed on blood or eat flesh. It's hard to say for certain with this one. Vampires have been depicted in a variety of ways, with some stories portraying them as having a biological origin and others having a completely supernatural origin. One example of vampires with a biological origin can be found in the Underworld movie series. In this series, vampires were the cause of a plague having a unique effect on the genetics of one man who could then pass this gift on to others. Sounds kind of familiar. On the other hand, stories like Dracula or Dracula Untold portray vampires as having a completely supernatural origin. Vampires can vary significantly, with some being created by a virus and some being created by a curse. Regardless of their origin, vampires are typically powerful, immortal beings with a thirst for blood, a variety of supernatural abilities, and a weakness to sunlight. And if meeting those requirements makes something a vampire, then the creatures from I Am Legend could definitely be considered vampires. Of course, let me know what you guys think. Are they vampires? Do they meet enough of the requirements or do you think they should be considered zombies? I know I say this a lot, but I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say. I've seen a lot of people say they consider it a vampire movie, considering what it's based on, but others say they're just smart zombies. Thanks so much to my members Roderick, Stephen556, and Owen Wildish for supporting the channel and becoming a member. I really appreciate it. If you want to become a member, you can hit the join button down below and get some cool perks, but don't feel any pressure to do so. I'm just glad you're here watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, and if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.